Hey guys, Zeems here, back with more Deadly Premonition 2. Last time, we fought some shadows in the daytime, and Patty doesn't seem to care. What's going on here? Inspection! Start! Organ. Organ, of course, it's a metaphor for the church. Because they have a church organ, haha. -ha. No comment, Patty? Journal. Haha, -ha, there's words in here. A research log. No, it looks more like a journal. Cutscene. Look, Zach. This belonged to Lena Doman. Really? I'm leaving behind his research journal for the one who carry out the plan. Hmm. A professor to the very end. That is also very book quick dialogue. With all sorts of detailed notes. Research device. Looks like a heart monitor, but sure. Hmm. She studied abroad during school. Most likely in order to get as far away from her father's prejudice as possible. I mean, I studied study more than one brother in school to get what I mean. Ha, ha, ha. Then cultivated the groundwork for what? Son Rouge. Huh. If what's written in this journal is to be believed, Son Rouge is a naturally derived substance. Yes, almost as though that it comes from something akin to ayahuasca. red seeds. Found in the Amazon you know, the fact that there's a red but fucking Son tree in her yard? actually produced here. It appears that a special environment is necessary to summon the Red Demon. Yeah, it's a really fucked up thing, too. Which we don't figure... We don't actually figure that out until the, until the first game, so... Zach, look at this. Don't tell me what to do. It says that when Lena was still known as Lenny, she once fell in love with a woman. Okay. She fell in love with her... Older sister. God damn, Sal. Up with what PJ mentioned just before he died. And apparently, they had a daughter. But Clarkson's family tree is far more complicated than I could have imagined. Yeah, isn't that weird, Patty? You can say that again. And here it says that the Clarkson's older daughter later fell in love with someone in town and got married. Uh -huh. That she must still be somewhere in this town. Hey, Patty. Did you know about all this? Uh, I don't know. How? You don't know if you knew? Come on, York. Put it together. Back to the journal, sure. It's not really... This entry is from Whatever. right after she became Lena. Zach, what could this mean? I don't know. A salesman passing through town gave me... God a damn it! It's... Changed my life. That's fucking Kaysen! ...on Rouge until after she met this person. And from that point on, Spoiler! she started fanatically worshipping someone. Kaysen was the person also behind it all. Anything more about her older sister. And the word goddess of fertility goddess? starts appearing everywhere. That's why I kept saying fat evil, okay? Because it was Kaysen. I was hoping they wouldn't show him anywhere, but yeah, he's in the first game. He's the big baddie. Walkie-talkie. Feels like we should have noticed this earlier. Final entry, written just before she headed to the Clarkson's house. Okay. No one can stop my plan. Not even me. Also, that's where the dog the came worry from. Now is P. I only P. pray the fool king can stop him. Who's P? Because it's not Kaysen. His name's Forrest Kaysen. Zach, it looks like we've uncovered yet another new character. Who's the fool king? I assumed it was you. This is starting to read like a badly written tragedy. And P. It appears that Lena's worried about whether or not the Fool King will be able to stop our investigation. Now, I thought you were the Fool King. Successfully murder this P character. Peaches? P. Phil? Or Professor? Patty? No. It can't be. Ah, shit. Oh. 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 Uh... <laughs>
based off the camera angle, I'd say Avery, but. Also, how'd you not hear the door open behind you? Uh, so anyways, yeah, Patty's gone. Uh, if you notice that cutscene where they showed Fat Evil, he had the dog with him, which is the same dog that put us on that goose chase two episodes ago. That's why I'm like, it's fucking Willy. Like, York, how did you not recognize that dog? You meet him in five years. As in, why don't you recognize him five years from now? Anyways. Ugh, splooge. Ah, how convenient. Oh. Hi there, Hoondun. Long time no see. Hopefully it's not just a concussion. Pineapple! Makes your jizz taste better, man. Hmm. This is definitely your simplest oracle by far. Oh. I didn't feel like... Recording more lines in this bad accent. Patty. Now it all makes sense. Does it though? Zach, we need to hurry back to the hotel and put all this in order. Why? Okay. Is there nothing else in here? I was fully expecting this to be another, another other world segment, but I guess not. Also, wasn't the gate locked behind us? Hey, everything's normal. Okay. I totally didn't get off my skateboard. The game just froze and kicked me off. What the hell is happening? I'm not pressing the button to get off the skateboard. It's just kicking me off. It doesn't want me riding my skateboard right now. Run over by a car and die right now. Boosh. Okay, game over. Oh, the pineapple. Duh. I forgot that's what the hotel was called. Casa Pineapple. Also known as Pineapple House. Curse you, Pineapple House. So who attacked us? It was either Melvin or Avery. Based off the camera angle, it did look like Avery. But it's also very possible it was Melvin, because the walkie-talkie was there. And it still surprises me, the sheer number of people that are at this hotel. Alright, let's check it out. We found many new truths hidden in Lena Doman's journal. Did we, though? And some of them went far beyond our wildest dreams. Like the fact that Kaysen was behind it all. First, we should clear up who PJ's first daughter is. She was a complete mystery until now. But now... But after reading Lena's journal, I became convinced of something. She still lives somewhere in this town. I like how you already spoiled the fact that Patricia is her daughter. This journal stated that this woman married someone from the same town. Did you figure it out yet? Yes. Who is PJ Clarkson's first daughter? Uh, Candy. Yes. Melvin's beloved wife and the most beautiful woman in town. Candy. She's PJ Clarkson's first daughter. So let's see. Your kids. You had Leonard, Candy... And what was the other one? I don't even remember. But I I was expecting a theme between the names. I guess not. Which means that just like Galena, Galena, Candy also carries his blood. Now we know why Melvin said that Galena was a beauty who could attract a lot of attention. Candy had no interest in the inheritance and was also sexually liberated. What? That must be why PJ ended up coddling Lena so much. 
What do you mean sexually liberated? Candy is supposedly sick, but she's now become a key person in our case. She must be why Melvin's gone missing. Melvin's beloved wife, Candy, committed a transgression in her past. Zach, what was it? Transgression? <laughs> she had pest Melvin. She had intercourse with her brother. That's right. Candy had intercourse with Lena. Her own sibling. Okay. So this is another instance where, likely in the original take of the game, York said Candy had Aaron course with Leonard, her own brother. But that's not right because that's using the dead name. So that's why they said Lennox already had the they had a voice clip for that, but they had to put in her own sibling without the voice dialogue because they couldn't re-record it. Got it. Then she gave birth to a child. A child that we know very well. Chuck Thompson! We never heard any mention of her biological father anywhere in town. Not that we ask that much. Despite how much these country folk love to spread rumors, I knew there had to be some secret connected to her birth. But I never thought it'd be something like She's this. wearing a necklace with a dragonfly on it! It's beyond anything I ever could have imagined, Zack. Next up is the Fool King, Zack. All you need to do is pick out the person who acted most like a fool when we encountered them. But... why? How's that make sense? Like, I understand if it was Hugin's Oracle that told us that. Like, that makes it any better. But it was Lena's journal. Why would... She referred to Melvin as the Fool King. The answer is clear, and it's a painful one to accept, isn't it, Zach? Also, Melvin 100% killed, um, what's her face in the jail? Uh, Galeen. Chuck Thompson! No, Melvin Woods. Melvin. He's got to be the Fool King. The way he's acted from the moment he located Lisa's body up to now. Right, he stored Lisa's body in the cold storage, which was weird. And then Galeen was murdered under his watch, which is sus. The way Galena was murdered, yeah. silenced, without any resistance. His discord with the Clarksons, the words PJ left behind, and the engineer boot prints we saw at the Discovery site. Uh, again, that doesn't fucking matter, because he's a police officer and likely would have walked there. And I even made the joke in the video where it's like, Oh man, how could his footprints possibly have gone here? As I, you know, walked around the place in my shoes. It feels like the missing puzzle pieces are all falling into place now. But why did he decide to take part in Lena's plan? According to Patricia, he seemed to be avoiding Lena. There's no way he actually could have believed that the goddess of fertility would come and save the town. Well, it's probably because Candy's sick and he's desperate. <gasps> so that's it, Melvin. As you nursed Candy, you too became corrupted by Saint Rouge. Drugs rob people of their judgment. Oh, sure. Just because he's black? They slowly God. but surely eat away at their users. That's most likely the reason it took Lena so long to enact her plan. I don't know what to say, Zack. This is absolutely unbearable. I mean, I hate Melvin. Lena fell because he's just terrible. Sister Candy. Terrible the person. Of them had intercourse. That's creepy. But afterwards, Lena realized that there was a disparity between her body and her mind, and descended into suffering. Finally, Lena left home and decided to live on as Professor R. Okay. Meanwhile, Candy fell in love with Melvin, which led to her leaving home as well. I could only guess that Lena and Candy's relationship continued after they left home. What makes you say that? Then... Their strange love transformed into something else that bound them together in a powerful new way. Sure? Lena must have periodically delivered San Rouge to Candy as offerings to the goddess of fertility. It's hard to keep going with this, Zach. Yeah. You know where it's all leading, don't you? Probably? I don't Lena's know. Lena's plan was to kill off every last Clarkson aside from her goddess. Then her next target is PJ's last living descendant. But... There's two. There's both Candy and Patricia. She's in danger. We need to hurry. They're both still alive, so they're not the last... 
Of course we do. You're exactly right. We need to stop Melvin and Candy. I got paid ten bucks. By who? Who knows? Zack, the climax is upon us. Giggity. Whoever hit me in that control room sure wasn't holding back. The blow was so devastating that I passed out instantly. I'm a terrible FBI agent. There aren't many people who could do that. Hmm. Oh, they hit me right in my head. So my memories are fuzzy. Not my finest hour, to say the least. Again, how did you not hear the door open? And why didn't Patty say anything? Now, what should we do next? First, we're going to need to refresh ourselves a little. Uh, I gotta go take a shower. Sunbathing, Zach. What? Let's go bask in some liquid sunshine that's just as hot as the sun out there. What? What? What are you talking about? Hello, Mr. FBI! Yeah, it turns out the cop here is corrupt and kidnapped his own daughter now might be doing some form of satanic, satanic ritual. So I'm gonna go sunbathing. Back in a jiffy. Okay, I'm outside. Sunlight! Okay. What are you talking... What? I... I don't get it. I do not understand. Is it that? Do I need blue... blue... blue crons? Is that the drink I need? Do I run towards the sun? But the sun keeps moving. I'm so lost. Hey. Where are you going? Okay. Bye. Okay, so I guess that's where I need to go. Yeah, totally. Yes, someone did quite the number on me. Must have given you one heck of a shiner. What? Well... No. Let me get you some I got hit in the back of the head. A shiner's a black eye. Said Alexis, just what I was waiting for. So liquid sunshine's coffee. To get in an especially pungent cup, smoldering with all the heat of the southern sun. Coming right up. Okay. Coffee. I mean, I have a bunch of coffee in my inventory right now. But sure, let's creepily drink coffee. Ugin? Did everything else freeze? Zack, look. He's in the coffee. It's poisonous. Of course. What? Patty. What? 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 Melvin. No, Melvin. What? No. <laughs> There's nothing. She didn't even have the ball in her hand. Oh my lord, what are you trying to do? Wake the dead? What's wrong, honey? I have a concussion. And also, the coffee spilled in an arrow type way. Where is this boathouse located? Oh my lord, what's going on with you? Your poor voice is positively trembling. Answer the question, lady! Where is this boathouse located? There's lots of boathouses around these parts, honey. Your guess is as good as mine. Well then, can you at least tell me when this photo was taken? Looks to me like it was taken during the Clarks and Campbell wedding party. The what? PJ married his ex-wife, Audrey. There was a building this tall in town back then? Oh, you know what? 
That must be the cold storage warehouse. What? That big billboard on the roof is the Clarksons. See? I bet you'd be able to get a great view of all the boathouses in the swamp from up there. Cool. Thank you. That's all the info I need. Would you mind if I borrowed this? What, the table? Shoot, of course not, honey. <laughs> what are you That's borrowing? Help. And keep the change. <gasps> oh my lord. What? Why are you here? What did... Okay, sure, whatever. What did you just borrow? Like, it... The picture's just under a bunch of glass. That's... How'd you... You know what? Fine. Also, why are you here? Why, why aren't you bowling? Why did you come over here and say nothing? I can pop you right now, and you'll never bowl again. You realize that, right? That's why I thought. Don't mess with your. Go to the roof of the cold storage warehouse. Sure. There you go, okay. Uh, cold storage. Hey, Avery. Well, I'm here. I got the thing you wanted. Yeah, you small yolk, you ain't like me, yup. No, Avery, I think you're very strong, and you have your own special power to boot. Really? Really, so you should have more confidence in yourself. Confidence, okay, I'll have confidence. Here's your treat. Yeah, I got the bead. One unusual bead. I'll gladly take it. Yup. I won't be just like you, but all I do is have my arm merge into this here dumpster, unlike you turning your arm into a tree. I'm gonna work hard. Avery, you're strong enough just as you are. No, I'm weak. Stupid. So I need to work really hard, yup. Then I can see Lise. That's what she said. Avery, I don't know who told you that, but it's impossible to meet with the deceased. Uh, impossible? Stay calm, Avery. You can still do things in order to ensure that the, de that the departed can rest in peace. You can pray or investigate murder cases. What you choose depends on what kind of person you are. Just like me, you need to figure out what you can do to help Lise rest in peace. What I can do... What I... Uh... Oh... Uh. I'll do it. I'll do things for Lise. Zack, it looks like Avery finally figures out what he needs to do. But what could it be? It's so hard for me to figure out what's going on in that head of his. All I can say for sure is that he's a very strange, eccentric person. It's difficult for people like him to survive in small worlds like this town. Unlike the city, neighbors from here know each other's family's members, weekends plans, and even their monthly income. He must have experienced things he could never put into words. We can only hope from the bottom of our hearts that he doesn't stray from the path he's currently on. Uh, York, why smart and pants talk to himself? Is that right, Zach? Cool. Do you have another quest for me? Okay, nothing. Got it. Okay, well, I'll call the episode here, and then when we come back, Wait, I'm not even in the right place, am I? When we come back, I'll figure out where to go next. So I thought it was right here, but doesn't guess not. Anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing that lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.